Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome back for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank 2 Going Commando. Last time, we started up the game. We infiltrated an airship, tried to steal a protopet thing, found out that we were a bit too late in that, and instead got hijacked out of the plane. We ended up arriving on planet Uzla, and yeah, we're... Thanks. We ended up starting to go through the area. We got we fought this mini boss. We got a dynamo, which is very nice. And yeah, we're just kind of making our way out of the ship here. We also learned the whereabouts of our kind of next objective. View missions still available. Press select or R3 to access your map. Then press X to open the mission screen. Thank you. So yeah, we found we found the store entrance and we investigated the Megacorp store. We have not explored the Swamp Ruins yet, which may have canonically been the first mission, I'm not really sure, but honestly, who cares? I don't, because I want to buy the chopper. So yeah. We started up a game that, in my opinion, again, is better than the first game in just about every way. Also, whenever we finish a mission, we can basically, there's usually some sort of, like, fast shortcut to get to kind of the end objective, so... Yeah, we can actually go straight back to the Megacorp store from here. And yeah, that's just a very nice little tip to remember. Anyways. Uh, the chopper. Let's talk about this weapon a little bit here. I, I can get closer to some enemies here. This is a pretty decent weapon. You can throw it from a distance here. That actually hits something? What the hell? Alright, let's just... There we go. It, ha it has a little bit of a weird arc, but it also, like, kind of comes around and hits enemies back again a second or third time sometimes. It can be a pretty decent weapon at times. I, It's, it's another one of those weapons that's kind of helpful early on, but I don't really find myself using it too much later in the game. And... Alright. We have some weird things here that remind me of something out of a uh, Spongebob movie, which... The Spongebob movie video game, I mean. Um... Which I... Th I'm pretty sure this game predates, because this was still pretty early in the 2000s, I think. I want to... I want to say this game was 2002 or 3? It's... The Ratchet and Clank games were pretty early in the 2000s, and I think have held up kind of remarkably, all things considered, too. I'll probably have an annotation on screen saying exactly what year it was, but yeah. Um, we should be getting close to upgrading the Lancer here very soon, actually. Um, I guess I can say that... Besides the... Um, besides that, you might think that there's like a certain joy of collecting every bolt you can get to buy everything. Don't worry about not buying every single little thing in the game, because you're not going to have enough to afford literally everything. Um, heck, it'll probably take you at least like three playthroughs of this game before you can actually even start to afford everything in the game. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Now, I don't totally remember, I know there is a secret in this area, but I don't quite remember where it is or if we can even get it yet. So, I'm just gonna try and see if I remember. This, this part of the area always kind of confused me a little bit, but there, I believe there are some secrets in this place. Whenever you feel that little, like, vibration in the controller, you kind of just want to let go and... Yeah, like that there. And they kind of make a little bit of a noise there, too, whenever they're about to do that. Right. 
nice. And nothing else in this area? I don't believe so. Also, again, don't stand on these Venus Piranha Plant things here. This is a game where there's some secrets that, like, I can kind of remember, and then some secrets that I don't always remember where they are. And I just want to say for the record that if I miss a secret, I'm not going to worry too much and just kind of go back for them as I please, because... Oh! Finally, we got the Heavy Lancer for this. And a health upgrade that just killed everything in sight here. So, the Heavy Lancer is more or less a more powerful version of the same weapon, and it has more ammo. That's kind of what you're going to be expected to get into with some of these weapon upgrades here. Again, like the bolts, don't worry about collecting every single upgraded weapon because you'd be doing an unnecessary amount of grinding. That being said, I'll definitely point out the weapons that I think are the most worthwhile to go after in terms of grinding for them. So, I'm just looking to see if there's anything... Um... Yeah, you're gonna sink. You're sinking. And that guy sank. I'm actually surprised I got pulled out there. I think you kind of get like three mercy jumps if you fall in like water or something, but the, or two and then the third one is kind of like the insta kill. I believe there is a secret in this area somewhere, but I'll worry about it at a later point when it's easier to find secrets. We get something that makes them a lot easier to find. So, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! And there you have it. The Megacorp Tractor Beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir, how about taking advantage of our show special? Yep, just like the first game, you're required to spend a lot of bolts. Thank you, sir. You won't be disappointed. A thousand bolts shouldn't be hard to get by this the point, but it still doesn't change the fact in addition to buying a lot of weapons, you're spending a lot of money. Press circle to move those columns so you can scale the cliff. So yeah, as they say, tractor beam is just kind of what it ex what it says it is. We can just kind of use it to push and pull objects like that. Um, uh, maybe it's in this area that I actually might have. Just... Yes, it is. Okay, glad I checked that. So don't go the normal way that you're supposed to. Um, I can't make that, but I can if I bring the other guy over. So, the first Ratchet and Clank had a collectible called Gold Bolts. This game has Platinum Bolts. There is a good healthy number of Platinum Bolts in this game. Unlike the Gold Bolts, I think the Platinum Bolts have a lot more use in this game. Um, the Gold Bolts were essentially how you would upgrade weapons in the first game. And the way to upgrade gold weapons was so limited, it was basically a New Game Plus feature in the first game, besides, like, one area you could go to that the game basically told you nothing about. Um, and the gold weapons were pretty cool. They were essentially, like, weapon upgrades in this, but they were a lot more limiting in that. And this game lets you access them basically right off the beginning of the game. So, yeah, the Platinum Bolts will see their use for quite a fair bit later. But, we can also drop this, which is a shortcut back to the beginning. And I believe that's every mission for this place for now. So, let's head to our ship.
We only got one more objective, which is the Maktar Resort and the Maktar Nebula. Got find a way into the Thugs for Less jamming array and win the battle arena, so let's head off there. Well then. Well then. Ooh! We actually have a space combat mission. I didn't think we got one of these this early. I see. So these things are actually quite a lot of fun. Use the square button to boost. We can sh shoot by just holding down the square button there. And yeah. Um, these things actually control... Quite a lot of fun. They're definitely an improvement from like the one time we got to use this thing in the first Crash and Clank game. Again, in almost every way, this game is pretty much better than the first Crash and Clank. We have missiles that we can use with the circle button. Our kind of just objective is to destroy all these like ships here. We can also find some just general items by um destroying obstacles and stuff here. Yeah, there we go. We got Raritanium here. Raritanium is another form of currency that we can use later on. It won't really be too useful to us immediately, but yeah, again, it'll be useful to us more so going forward. I actually didn't remember this mission being here, but I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. And we got one more ship of this wave. Where are yeah, there we are. And we have a second wave. Yep, unfortunately. And these guys, I think, are more aggressive and more annoying to deal with, which I'm not really looking forward to. I guess I do like how I can actually barrel roll all the way to my way though, which is nice. Not really sure, I don't remember needing to do one of these spaceship missions this early, I almost just barrel right into a trap there. Got 10 Raritanium already, which is kind of nice. I am getting a little low on health here. I am starting to worry a little bit about that. And unlike Star Fox, I don't know if barrel rolling constantly reflects bullets. I don't think it does. Which does kind of make me worry a little bit. Um, only two ships. One ship. Uh, I see it. There we go. Fighters defeated. Proceeding to the Maktar Nebula. There we go. That was not so bad. Um. Yeah. I'm still got a little tiny bit of time. I guess I can kind of briefly go over one more thing that I think we have available right now. I'm um, assuming there's not another. Yeah, there's not another. Oh, there's not another cutscene here. Um, what weapons do we have? Same as before, which we can't afford anything right now, so... Can I access this yet? No, I cannot. Um... From what I remember, I think there's a little bit of this mission, of this area to go here. We've kind of... I, I realize this video is not as long as the first video of the... LP, but I also kind of just don't want the videos to kind of drag a lot either. Um, I think because this is a, a new planet that has quite a lot of things to do, I think this might be a good stopping point. So, next time on Rash and Clank Going Commando, I think we're going to continue on through the Maktar Resort. 
and kind of start exploring this place. I remember this place being quite big and extant- uh, bleh, bl bl blight, blig, and expansive. No, quite big and expansive. And yeah, it's death. Yeah, so I think I'll save that for then. Thank you for watching. I've been Mr. Summerin, and I'll see you guys later.